Hi, my name is Ted Haggard. I'm the senior pastor of St. James Church in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Right now we're in one of the most confusing times in American sports history with the scandal that's going on at Penn State University. All of us know about the great coach that's there and the team he's built that he spent his entire lifetime there. And now we just saw him fired. We just saw the Board of Trustees take some pretty dramatic action and now everybody's starting to evaluate what they think of this and what they think of that. And of course, we're so heartbroken over what's happened to the young man that we're looking to that team for protection and guidance and ended up being abused. But every one of us have to decide what kind of a role we're going to have in a situation like this. No university, no corporation, not even a family can operate unless people understand their roles and fulfill them. And I know there are exceptions to every role, every role and and there are ways we have to work through that, but I think every one of us have to make core decisions here. Just like when the Tiger Woods scandal happened, CNN asked Gail and I to be on several shows to comment on that, and of course, we wanted to encourage everybody to do what they could to try to save Tiger Woods' marriage. But some people wrote us afterward and talked about how wounded they were and how hurt they were and how discouraged they were because of what Tiger Woods had done, and. I responded to them asking if they were friends of the girls or his wife or the kids or who were they and oh no they didn't even golf but they had major opinions about what had gone on and they were experiencing emotional trauma because of it. And so I responded to them as kindly as I could to say that it wasn't their role. And I think in all of life we have to decide what our role is and I know generally speaking from what I've been through I've learned a few basic things about roles. I'm not a journalist, so my role isn't to tell everybody everything I know. I'm not a district attorney or a prosecutor, so my role isn't to cause people to live up to their legal obligations. I am not uh, in a position where I need to be a judge to people. Instead, I'm in a position where I am a pastor. I'm a Christian. And many of you watching today are Christians, which means your number one responsibility is to fulfill your role as a Christian just like Jesus would. And I know when people are in their darkest hour, Jesus draws closer to them. The scriptures and the Holy Spirit become more real to them. And that means we should draw closer to people. Now, when people get into trouble, people tend to withdraw. But Christ doesn't do that. He gets closer to them. So here's what I do. I think it's important for me to let God be the judge. I think it's important for me to let the Holy Spirit convict other people of their sins and for the Holy Spirit to build righteousness into people. I think it's important for me to let the Word of God instruct people and guide people and, and uh, correct people and give people advice. I think it's important for me to just let the devil be the accuser. I don't want to be people's accuser. But instead, I want to be a fellow human, a, a believer. So I want to identify what the Holy Spirit's doing in a person's life and encourage it. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit's been poured out on all flesh. God's working in everybody. Everybody's in process. And so my role is to encourage them. And so I would encourage all of you with the Penn State thing and with whatever the next scandal's going to be, identify a role where you can encourage and strengthen people. It doesn't mean you're condoning misbehavior. It doesn't mean you're, you're weak. What it means is you're thoughtful. Because people that are accusing aren't necessarily thoughtful. It doesn't require the highest IQ in the world to identify somebody else's failures. But it does require some thoughtfulness to understand how to enter into a difficult, confusing situation, a complex situation, and actually make it better. We can maximize problems in people's lives or we can minimize them. We can cause people to have a heavier burden or we can lighten their load. We choose what our role will be in those situations. So I encourage you to identify your role and fulfill it well.